I'm pleased to be joined in person here in the flesh, here inside the stadium of his beloved Bengals, uh, Drew Lachey. Good to see you, sir. How Me are too. you? Very good. Well, what do you think of your Bengals, man? I think, uh, you know, it's been a tale of two seasons already so far. You know, they come out 3-0, first three games. We have the bye, and then, you know, we struggle coming out of the bye. Obviously, we get, uh, you know, we get taught a lesson by the, by the Patriots, but, you know, I think we've kind of regrouped a little bit now. I think that tie might come back and haunt us a little bit. Um, but, you know, after losing offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator in the offseason, I think we're, we've rallied and we're doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, it's interesting. Both those coordinators faced each other in a game <laughs> uh, with Washington against Minnesota last week with Gruden and, and Zimmer. And uh, Deion Sanders, who I was talking to earlier be, uh, in our meeting prior to tonight's game, thinks that this defense misses Mike Zimmer's coordinating and his 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 knowledge in the game about what to dial up at the right times. Well, I mean, Zimmer was always just very fired up and passionate. I mean, even when he was, you know, kind of reserved on the sideline, you knew that there was that fire inside him. Right. Um, you know, I, I think the players are kind of taking that on. I think what's hurting us the most is, is a little bit of that, you know, that mentality, that old school mentality, just go out and punch him in the mouth a little bit. Um, you know, and I see like when we go out and we get, we get beat, it's usually that's what it comes out. We've got People were out more physical than we were. Right. Uh, when I say we, that's every Cincinnati no, fan I, no, ever. No, you're a fan, Drew Lachey. You're um, a fan. Absolutely. Um, you know, so that's that's kind of what I would like to see change. I think Andy's done a, a much better job this season of protecting the ball, making better decisions. Uh, obviously, Gio Bernard and Jeremy Hill are doing a, a decent job once we get Gio back. But, um, you know, I, th I think we have a ton of potential. We just got to put it all together for a couple games in a row. Where do you stand on Andy Dalton? You know, I, I was I oh, was you're really, hesitating right here. No, I was really on the fence uh, over the past couple seasons. You know, obviously three playoffs, you know, appearances in, in the first three seasons. That's that's great. Um, but we need to get past that. And I think the way he's been playing so far this season, uh, you know, that gives me hope that that's you know that's where we're headed. You know, step in the right direction. So um, I think he's earned uh, you know that right to be our, our starter and for the foreseeable future. I'm here with Drew Lachey, diehard, loyal Bengals fan here. Where, so where, where yeah, you're, you've got your <laughs> C on your chest, your Bengals C. Where do you, where do you sit in this stadium? Where do you um, sit? Do well, you got, my friends have seats right there. Um, where it's, is right visitors, there? Visitors line is right here, but you know, okay. we're, we're up there. Um, but then you can see all the substitutions that are coming in. And you know, different parts of the day you get sun in parts of the stadium and you get it shading parts of the stadium so yeah. you definitely want to find the so sun. So you're pointing to the second deck? The first yeah, the deck? Which takes, deck? Um, Which deck are we You know I have, I have friends that have booths, uh, boxes so I'm... That's I'm, fine. Listen, luxury I'm able to sit suites there are luxury suites. <laughs> are nothing of which to be ashamed. Oh, no, no, no. Okay? I no. mean, if you... And plus tonight, if you can get yourself in a luxury suite and sit there and just chill out, have whatever beverage your, your heart desires, and in you got heat. that... Yes, you have that <laughs> buffet. You got you to gotta rock it Absolutely. you have it. No, no, no. When, when my friends are generous enough to offer up tickets, I, I always okay. take them up. Um, but, you know... We, well, you can we, reciprocate in kind with, with many things uh, at your disposal, you know, we, it's a it's a, it's a barter system. It's a bar you know, it's a barter <laughs> system. I like I get that. tickets, I do bar mitzvahs, I do weddings. You know, nice! What, <laughs> you, whatever we need to do. Do you hate the Cleveland Browns? Is there a hatred for the Browns, or is there is there sort of uh, down on their luck streak since coming back into existence cr less of uh, uh, interest to the it's, Bengals fan. It's curbed the hatred a little bit. Um, you know, it's almost like, oh, now they can, they feel our pain a little bit. You know, they go through, you know, they're going through a bad stretch. That the real animosity is, is towards the Steelers. Um, you know, that's where every once in a while you'll see a ruckus breakout. And, you a know, ruckus breakout. A ruckus breakout. Right. Um, and, you know, people like to talk and people don't like to hear smack talk in their own stadium. Right. Um, you know, and their fans travel everywhere they go. Um, so I think the Steelers are probably our, our biggest nemesis right now. You know, Drew Lachey, you have something that no one can ever take away from you. And that is, as we all know, a Dancing with the Stars championship. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, wait a minute. Now, <laughs> now uh, you didn't just beat anybody you took down jerry rice in dancing with the stars yes Drew. and that is in in the in the 11 years that i've been fortunate to do this job on nfl network and now with this show i've never met anybody more competitive than jerry rice was he in your face at all was he intense like he normally would be about anything you in could life? tell that he was driven you know he was focused he would put in the practice um but he always had a, a smile on his face about sure. it sure um but when we went out we played golf one time you know when we were shooting and yeah, that, um, now i'm sure he was serious oh there. he he 
destroyed me. I mean, it was my home course, and I shot, I don't know, 150, and he shot like five over and was upset about it. I was like, you got to be kidding me. That's Jerry Rush. I mean, he was, he's, a, he's a beast at everything he does. But, you know, that, that victory on Dancing with the Stars was, was for all the Bengals fans right. that have lost to the 49ers twice. Um, you know, so. We, I, I was fortunate to do a segment once with Emmett Smith and Jerry Rice and talked about how there's multiple championships on the stage and there are first ballot Hall of Famers on this stage, but only one of them has a Dancing with the Stars championship. <laughs> and I threw the break that way. And I look up, Drew, and Jerry Rice is staring a hole through me. And I thought, like, all right, he's just joking with me. I'm ready for him to just break. He was truly... Oh, like, he hates like, to why lose. why do you have to go there? Is he, what he hates said. to lose. Yeah. He hates to lose. But, but everybody yeah. that's ever been on that show, you know... You understand it's fun, but it's competitive. I mean, yeah. people are putting in hard work to do it. You're yeah. out of, everybody's out of their comfort zone. Um, you know, so it's it's a uh, it becomes competitive. But yeah, um, but I'm Jerry sure he doesn't Rice like to hear it. Man. You beat Jerry Rice at something. <laughs> yes. yes, you did. And haven't done it since, but you know, it's, it's all good. I got that one. I got That's the one. I'm telling you, man, nobody could ever take it away from you. Are you you're filming Lachey's Bar? What is that? What is um, that about? Right well, my now, brother too? Nick and I are opening a sports bar here in Cincinnati. Um, okay. You know, it's probably about 10 blocks from here where we're sitting right now okay um and we grew up here i live here now nick lives here part of the time so it's just kind of our way of of you know setting a permanent roots here in cincinnati even right. more so and we have an a and e show that we're filming about building the bar launching the bar all the uh trials and tribulations of being novices at this and mm -hmm. trying to figure our way through it and that's supposed to air um first quarter of 2015 fantastic so. are you a bear cat or a buckeye uh, bear cat my grandfather was a, a math professor at UC, so okay. I, I grew up with, uh, with red and black. Okay. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Cause, you know, I'm a, I'm a Wolverine. And my grandfather's from Michigan, so I grew up rooting against okay. the Buckeyes and no rooting kidding. for UC. Yeah. I knew I liked you for a reason <laughs> all these years. And yeah, now. that's why everybody else in Cincinnati hates me, because I don't, I don't like the Buckeyes. Good for you. But. Hang in there, man. <laughs> this is a tough time for all of us Buckeye uh, haters, but it is what it is. Uh, thank you for joining me here on My the program. Pleasure. I Thanks appreciate that. Enjoy tonight's game. So you are you are inside, right? Yes. You're going to be sitting inside. Yes. Don't be ashamed One of that. One way or another, I will be inside. Don't be ashamed <laughs> of that. I mean, seriously, it's going to be like 30 degrees. It could be raining. It could be pretty darn nasty out there. Perfect football weather. What do you got me for a prediction of final score? Uh, I'm going to go 30 to 21. Okay. And we'll hold you to that. All right. We'll Bengals. hold you to that. Uh, Drew Lachey, you can follow him at Drew Lachey on Twitter. Also, look out for Lachey's Bar coming up next year. Thanks for joining me here on the program. Sure. Thanks, Rich. You bet. That's Drew Lachey here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.